Hello and welcome to this mini course on large language models. I am so glad you're joining me because this topic is fascinating, interesting, fun, and it's applicable to a wide variety of creative and professional practices. In this course, we're going to be using GPT-3. It's the most popular large language, and it's very convenient because it's available as a public web page chat, GPT, and it's also available via API with GPT-3. So, whether you are a complete layperson who just wants to do some experimenting and you don't have any experience in this field, or with programming, you can get started. And conversely, if you're a data scientist or a programmer, you can extend it quite easily as well. And to that same point, it works really well getting some cool results with minimal prompting. And it can also be fine-tuned with large data sets to really be applicable to whatever domain you're working. So why is this important? Well, large language models like GPT-3, you know, I can't overstate this, but they really do have the potential to revolutionize how humans interact with computers. It's a breakthrough and it's important to be on the cutting edge if you're interested in this sort of thing as well. Large language models are applicable to just text, but also for generating images, video, audio. I'm sure people will discover more uses as we go on, and it is an AI tool right at the cutting edge, which is easy for non-professionals to pick up and get started with. So it's super democratized as we'll see in this course. The field of prompt design, you know, getting these large language models to do what we want and generate cool outputs. Scientists and professionals are currently figuring out the best way to do these things and an enormous amount of amateurs currently experimenting with this, and the state of the art is really just being formed as we speak. Now, what are you going to walk away from this course being able to do or know? Well, in this course we're going to start learning with no code, prompt design showcasing what can be done, just giving GPT-3 a little prompt and trying to coax it to give us some outputs. We'll cover some creative ideas as well as some ideas that might be applicable at your job or in the professional world. Next, we're going to learn how to fine-tune a custom GPT-3 model. This will be using Python, but if you are not a programmer or you don't have experience with Python, don't worry. You'll be able to understand what these large language models can. And even if you're not implementing it yourself, you'll be able to speak intelligently about the possibilities. So I'm really excited to teach you everything I know about large language models and stay with me in the next lesson. We'll be jumping right into prompt design. 